Hello everyone, today we are going to understand how to create a dynamic roster in Excel. So herein we are going to understand two important steps. Number one, definitely we are going to create a dynamic roster. But at the same time, we will also be using conditional formatting to differentiate weekdays from the weekends. So let's just jump on to the topic and understand how to proceed ahead. So herein you can see that we already have a dynamic roster created. Now in this dynamic roster, if you see over here, we have a month and we also have a year. Now what does that represent? Now month is the current month for which we need the dynamic roster and year is the year for which we need the roster. If I change this month, this is the particular roster which you can see over here. And if I change this month, does the roster get changed? Yes, it does. If I change the year, there are changes being done. So, how to do this? Now just have a look over here, have a close look. Okay, on the left hand side, you will find the names of the employees. And over here on the top in row number seven, this one, two, three, four, these are the dates of the month. So these are the dates for the month of November, 2025. Okay, let me change it to the current month, October, 2023. Okay, so these are the dates for the month of October 2023 and this one in row number 8, it is represented by the days of that particular month. So these are the two things which we need to enter it, but not manually. Huh? We need to do it with the help of a formula. So how to do it, how to create this dynamic roster and how to differentiate these weekends from the weekdays as you can see the weekends have a different color and whenever you will going to change even the year or the month it will always have a different color from the weekdays so let's check it out and move ahead how to create this dynamic roster so now in this particular sheet you can see that this is almost an empty sheet okay now what what is the first thing we need to do? We need to enter the month. So let's enter October. Okay, that's the 10th month for the year 2023. Once I have done this, what's next? As I told you earlier, this row should include the dates of the month. And in row number eight, we need to present the weekdays of that month. Now how to include the dates and how to include the weekdays? Okay, usually, these cells or these columns does not represent any particular specific format. So if you want to make this in the date format, how to do that? I will just select first these two columns, right click onto it, we'll go to format cells and then I will go to this custom and in the type I will mention DD for the dates. Okay, and we'll click on OK. Now. In the below two columns in row number eight, I will just select first these two columns. We'll right click onto it and we'll then go to again format cells. Okay, I will go to then custom. And earlier I wrote DD for the dates, but now here I need the weekdays. So I will write DDD three times and we'll click on OK. Now you must be thinking what's so special? What has happened? I will just tell you what has happened. So now in this column, what we have presented over here is the dates of the month. Okay. So to enter the dates of the month, remember, we don't need to enter it manually. We need to enter it with the help of a formula so that even when the year changes, even when the month changes, it should represent it dynamically. So we will enter it with the help of a formula. Now what's the formula? Let's check it out. Okay. So what I will do, I will write equal to date. We'll open the parenthesis okay now date for what date for year 2023 comma for month october comma and which date i need the first date of the month so i will write one and we'll just close the parenthesis enter and you see we have zero one as the date now how to get the day how to get the weekday for this first day Okay, so what I will do, I will write the formula for the weekday equal to weekday 
we'll open the parenthesis and then weekday for what weekday for this first date okay so i will just select this first date comma and then i will write just one and close the parenthesis so you can see that i have got sunday as the weekday for the first date of the month of october 2023 now how to move ahead what to do next so what we will do over here is that now we also need the further dates of the month and the further weekdays of the month so to get the next date we will just write the formula equal to we will select the first date plus we will write one why one because we need the next date and to have the next date we just need to add one to the previous date so i'll just enter it and you can see now i have got the second date as well do i need to do this time and again no this is only one time which i which you need to do it now i will just drag the formula for the weekday and we have got monday as well now what to do so i will just select these two and will drag it till the end and you can see that now we have got the different dates and as well as the weekdays below okay now once this is done what should be the, what should be next now the next focus should be to differentiate these weekends that is saturday and sunday from the different weekdays now how to do that for that we will be making use of conditional formatting so we will just select this entire rows and columns once i have done that i will go to conditional formatting we'll go to new rule once I come over here to new rule, what rule I should put in? So I will just use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I need to determine which cells I am going to format. So herein I need to differentiate the weekends from the weekdays. That means I need to determine the weekends should be differentiated from the weekdays. So herein you can see the first weekend is falling. That's on the first date of the month which is in row b8 okay so what i will write i will write the formula equal to or we'll open the parenthesis now the first weekend is lying in b8 row b8 so i will write equal to or open the parenthesis now what we are going to select we are going to select the first weekend of the month now where is the first weekend of the month you can sell here it is in row or in cell i will say b8 sunday lies in b8 so i will just select this one so what i will do i will write equal to or b dollar eight okay is equal to one comma b dollar eight is equal to b dollar eight okay i missed it b dollar eight is equal to seven and i will close the parenthesis now what is this one and seven okay if this question is coming to your mind so the answer is one and seven in microsoft excel are represented by the weekends so saturdays and sundays are represented by one and seven that's why I have used 1 and numeric 7 for the cell B8. Now I will go to format and I will choose any color by which I would like to, you know, differentiate the weekends from the weekdays. Let me just take this color and I will click on OK. And then I will click on OK again. And now you can see the weekends are now differentiated from the weekdays. Isn't it great? So this is the use of conditional formatting. Now have we prepared our dynamic calendar is it done let us just check it out so now what i will do i will just go to the month and let me just change the month let me change it to six and you can see the dynamic calendar is also changing let me just again change the month to nine it's changing again let me just change it to year 2050 here it is let me just change it to 2082 boom it's being done so this is what we have learned today if you have liked this video just 
like the button just hit the like button click on subscribe share the video sharing is caring thank you very much